Let's talk about the OnePlus 6T two months after. So it's been two months since the OnePlus 6T came out. There was that big launch event, the changing of dates and all that fun stuff. But at the end of the day, at the end of 2018, a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers out there, really liked this device. And uh, I'm giving you my thoughts after two months, because I finally got to spend some quality time with this device. Now, the two variants I use a lot were the uh, Thun uh, Thunder Purple, as well as also the McLaren version, uh, which I used for about a month, and I'm still using right now. And I have to tell you, OnePlus has done a really good job. This device really takes a whole different shape when you look at all its form and functionality. You've got a device that packs in at max at 10 gigs of RAM, either six all the way to 10, 10 being the McLaren version that I have. Uh, it can go up to 256 gigabytes of storage in there, uh, which is nice. Again, pricing starts at 549 and goes away to 699. It's a well-priced device in terms of category. Now you've got an inbuilt fingerprint sensor and it's pretty snappy. Picking it up and pressing is pretty snappy, but you do have to press your finger all the way flat. That's what I've realized. If you just kind of use the tip, it doesn't work, and this is something you should take note when using that. The facial recognition unlock is super fast, but again, it's not as secure as the fingerprint, but that is an option there as well. Now the display looks really, really nice. Um, I like the fact that they've got the dimple notch and not a full fled notch. I'm not a notch fan, but I would take this over what other devices have. And speaking of the notch and the camera, the front facing camera is very much improved. Uh, you can see I don't look, or I don't have like a white face. I, you can see my complexion much better with this, as opposed to some other devices like the Huawei, which I really love that camera device. The front facing camera, not so much. And I think at the price point where you get for the OnePlus 60, this is actually pretty good. Now this also packs in a nice sizable battery. Battery life on the OnePlus 60 is golden. I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, good, solid. Then again, it runs a very light version, Oxygen OS, which really is like a light version of an Android overlay on there. And it does well in performance. I love all the theming. So even if you're looking at the uh, the regular theme or you switch over to the McLaren theme, theme which is what I have in the McLaren version, uh, that, that theme really blends well to each. I wish the Thunder Purple had a theme of its own that was all purple too as well. That would be really nice on the device. Now speaking of the McLaren version, which I've used for about um, a month or so, I've got to say, you know, 10 gigs of RAM is really nice. Uh, I, I will say that I haven't really noticed anything different. Uh, maybe uh, in terms of future proofing, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, gaming with it, it's run smooth. When I played on the third and purple, that was eight gigs of RAM, it ran smooth there. So there's really no difference in terms of performance. But it's nice to have, which means that when developers decide to use more RAM for certain games or things like that, this will make a lot of sense and your device is future proof. And again, at 699, it's still cheaper than a lot of Android devices out there. Again, think about it, you've got it's Snapdragon 845, you've got a, a lot of RAM, you've got a lot of storage on this device. Um, you've got a lot of just really nice, clean performance on there. Now, in terms of the rear camera, 16 and 20, uh, the cameras are actually good. Uh, they do a really good job taking photos, capturing all the scenery really well. Also at night, the nightscape has been improved over a couple of updates. So I've seen better results from it. But again, then again, it's, it's not, I would say it's not similar to what of course you're getting from uh, the Pixel 3, which is just like, I call it daylight, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, or even what Huawei does, which is I call it night mood setter, which actually captures the mood. But this does a better job than a lot of cameras in giving you better imagery in low light conditions. So I like that from this device. Warp charging, whew, that thing is pretty fast. The only thing faster is from Huawei. And I mean by only, and by like literally maybe a five to 10 minute difference. It takes about an hour or hour plus, when I say plus, maybe about hour five minutes to fully charge your device from zero to 100 on this thing. It's really good. It's really nice. I like the fact that it's included there. Also, another really cool thing is the fact that USB Type-C audio, whether it's using the headphones or using just USB Type-C headphones, either the OnePlus version or something else, is really good. The built-in DAC there does a much better job. So when you plug in headphones, you're getting some really good performance there. And also has, they also give you an adapter in the box as well. So think about what a OnePlus brings to the table in this device. 
uh, they've, and what they've taken away. As a headphone enthusiast, taking the headphone jack, I didn't like that, but at least provided a DAC that gives you comparable audio. So that's a good part, uh, even though that's uh, almost like a, a negative and a positive at the same time. The notch is not something I like, but also the minimize on that, making for a lovely display, looking at those images there. And you guys are looking at those wallpapers, yeah? I will have them up on my Pinterest page and I have the links for you guys down below so you can actually go ahead and download those wallpapers. It looks really nice, a really beautiful design. Uh, I'm a little saddened that you can't pick up the Thunder Purple right now. It's not available anymore. You can still pick up the McLaren version. You've got a Midnight Black, you've got um, um, a Mirror Black as well, and you've got a couple of options for you. Plus, it is available on T-Mobile. So in the US, you now have a carrier you can pick it up on, which is pretty cool. So you can go ahead grab the device, plus if you are a Verizon user, so it's not limited to T-Mobile, AT&T, or GSM, if you're a Verizon user, you can put me a Verizon SIM. As you can see here, it says Viva LTE. I can do that and get, of course, LTE coverage. So now as a Verizon user, you can just go ahead and buy a OnePlus 6T and use, which is pretty cool. So I think OnePlus has done a lot, especially coming into the US market. If you're not in the US market, you've already been enjoying a lot of what OnePlus is. For American users, now this is time for you to get in. Look for an Android device that provides you know, constant updates, uh, really good performance, especially gaming, hardware performance, and just clean, smooth OS performance. Also, speaking of that OS, gesture controls are really nice. Plus, they've got remappable buttons uh, for your uh, navigation bar to add in things like a double tap uh, function to bring in different functions on your home menu and back or long press. Those are the kind of things that make it a wonderful device. And again, from priced at $549, you can't go wrong. So if you want to pick up a device right now in 2019 with all the buzz from left and right, go ahead and pick up the OnePlus 60. I think it will last you really well throughout the year. It's got a great processor, great performance, really solid hardware, and a lot of great features for something well-priced. So there you have it, guys. Any questions or any comments about the OnePlus 6T, let me know. I'll try and send them for you, especially if it's on the McLaren version or the Thunder Purple, either one of those two, because of course there's are two special editions out there. I'll give you my answers. Also, if you want to pick up any of the wallpapers, there's two. I'll have the links for you down there in my Pinterest page. Follow me on Pinterest. You will find the wallpapers there, papers there. And don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.